Breaker 2001 here. <sighs> Man, I know it's been a long time since I last made another, another vlog, but I know it's just I've been somewhat busy. In between finding a job, getting a job, leaving that job, and having the flu, you know, it's just complete chaos with me right now. Uh, well, I apologize for it being so long since I last made a video, but let's just say it's it's not like uh, I've had much of a choice. A lot of things have happened in between uh, then and now, uh, from the last video to now, so I'll uh, explain in a minute or two. Just let me get a refill on the V8 Splash, okay? I'll, I'll be right with you. Well, as you found, as you probably remember from the last video I did, I uh, I uh, said that I was had to look for a job. Well, needless to say, after two, actually after a month and a half, I did find a job. It was an immediate hire, and I was with it for one week. And uh, of course, as you can see, it involved. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I'm so red right now is because of the fact that, well, this mainly has to do with uh, with the job that I had. I ended up uh, being, for one week, a sales representative for ADT security systems. Basically, uh, what, it is, what it was is, uh, is that it was like a uh, Bible salesman, uh, you know, except, you know, going to do door to door to, uh, to sell Bibles. We went door to door to pitch security, it's, uh, to pitch ADT security systems. <coughs> and that's probably where I got my, uh, my, this illness, I mean my, the day before I, the day before I quit, I, uh, you know, my throat began to get feel a little raw, a little sore. And then after that, after I quit, I uh, came back to my apartment. My nose began running. I guess I got the flu or maybe a cold. I, I don't know. I can barely tell the difference anymore. And uh, I've been coughing up phlegm. So uh, part of the reason why I haven't done one of these lately is because I've been sick because of that and trying to find a job. Hopefully this upcoming week I'll feel a little bit better, and there are already two places I'm eyeing at for another potential job. But needless to say, I've got a, I've got one, one of the jobs I'm considering I'm going to. It's literally right across the street from my apartment building, which is a good thing because, I mean, I hate having to drive my car and waste gas and cause more environmental problems because, you know, by being part of the problem. But needless to say, I've been, that's part of the reason why I've been so busy trying to find a job, finding a job, leaving that job, and getting sick. It's trying to find a newer job. Uh, as for uh, a lot of my uh, Video pro potential video projects. Some of them have been uh, put, you know, suspended indefinitely. Uh, I've also had The Sims 2 crash on me twice, and uh, I've had to reinstall all the game, all the game and the expansion packs again. And uh, I've also been having to re-download all the stuff that I originally downloaded for the game, into the game again, and, uh, what else? Needless to say, my Machinima comic book fanfiction series for Battlestar Galactica Born to Run may or may not continue as I had originally planned and hoped. I'm not sure if I'll continue on with the project or not, but uh, the fan fiction series may may not make it off the ground as I originally hoped. And this would be my fourth fan fiction series that I've tried to get off the ground only for it to 
fail uh, because of one circumstance or another. Which would really, which really sucks. Hmm. Also, my laptop, uh, the memory on my laptop had a brain fart and caused my laptop to constantly be rebooting over and over and over again. My dad and I thought the computer had caught some sort of virus and, well, needless to say, as a result, I had to try to save all the data on my laptop and we had to reinstall and we, you know, we removed the hard drive, we, we placed in a new one, we installed Windows uh, XP onto that one and uh, as a result, uh, as it turns out, the laptop still kept doing the rebooting and it turns out it was the memory. Uh, the memory died in it, and uh, if and the funny thing is, is that if we have five, if we had known that, we could have just removed the memory, and the laptop would have run, you know, as normal. So I've been set back in all my stuff, including my fiction folder, all the uh, the folder where I've kept all of my uh, short story work. You know, I, I managed to copy a copy the files over, but when I try opening them up now, uh, they just come up blank, blank pages with nothing in there. I think what it is is that some sort of hiccup occurred while I was transferring them and uh, erased all the text and all the fi uh, and all those files under that folder, which really sucks in my opinion. Which means I'm gonna have to start from scratch all over again when it comes to. Uh, reconstructing some of the stories that I originally had in the folder that I just, you know, I started on, but didn't really complete. But, uh, oh, huh. excuse me. But for uh, videos, I don't know what I'll do next. Um, the way things are right now, I may consider on doing the, uh, that second Sandrine Holt music video I had contemplated for a little while. I managed to pick up a couple more uh, DVDs of uh, movies that Sandra Holt has been in. And of course I also got the uh, episodes of The L Word that she was in. And uh, there's still the possibility I may also catch uh, the uh, Outer Limits episode that she was in called uh, Last Supper. But I'm not making any promises on that. Uh, what else? Also, I've sort of slowed down on my reading I Am Legend, but I do hope to complete that and some of the other stories that I made mention of last time that I am hoping to read, I may not get around to lately. A lot, I mean, there are a lot of factors going on right now, but I figured I'd call, just, you know, make this video, let y'all guys know how I'm doing, and I'm doing okay. I mean, I'm, I'm bouncing back from whatever it is I got. And hopefully I'll get a good paying job that I can, you know, work from Monday through Friday, uh, 11 to 7. That sounds like a reasonable thing. And uh, hopefully I'll have enough money and I'll build it up and go to full sale. And uh, if not, you know, worst case scenario, I'll end up staying here for another year or so until I can make enough money to go to full sale. <clears throat> and to also pay off my uh, my financial aid, another drawback of being a uh, post college graduate. But needless to say, I figure I just like y'all guys know how I'm doing. And this is uh, oh yeah. Before I go, uh, I've also considered on doing either an audio commentary version of uh, the old playground or a making of for the old playground, so that way, I, you know, I've, con I've considered both, but I'm not, uh, I've considered one or the other, but I haven't decided on which one to go yet. Uh, but if you all are interested in seeing a making of, or just uh, an audio commentary version of the old playground, just reply to this, uh, to this post here, and just let me know, okay, just let me know. I'll, I'll do one or the other, and uh, I'll put it up. Y'all can listen to me either ramble on about making of the film or, or you know, about uh, the the short itself. Well, uh, this is Codebreaker 2001, 
or Daniel, as you've probably guessed from watching the, the old playground. Daniel, yeah, my name is Daniel. Uh, this, but needless to say, I hope y'all guys have a nice day. I hope y'all are all doing well on your side of the computer screen. And uh, take care. Peace.